Hello, guys. This is Dr. Taylor Brana, and this is another episode of The Happy Dog. Yeah. All right. So, listen up. If you guys don't know who I am, I am a third year in psychiatry uh, residency, and I started The Happy Doc because I was not a very happy medical student. That was approximately three years ago. And uh, essentially, on this podcast, every episode is designed uh, to inspire you, to make you feel better, to make you look at life in a different way. And hopefully, every episode, you learn something new or you think about something. And ultimately, it's to help us operate better in life, to find more joy, to find more happiness, and to uh, enjoy this life because uh, we're in it right now. And I'd hope that everyone's looking for that happiness. So, uh, that's the reason for the show, The Happy Doc. So sometimes we'll interview guests. Other times I'll do these daily episodes. Um, generally, I'm going to try to do these daily episodes every day, and I will have a guest episode once a week. Um, so I hope if you are a first-time listener or you're a regular re- listener that you're enjoying the show. For this episode, I want to talk about um, the concept around no expectations and using the word should. I um, was coaching someone. Uh, I'm not going to you know, go into too many specifics, but uh, essentially a lot of the things that get us frustrated in life, make us upset, are set around expectations. And those expectations are often set up when we use the word should. So um, let me just paint a... Uh, a picture. This isn't any specific thing. I'm just kind of talking about a situation. So let's say that you assume or you create the um, idea or concept that uh, when you arrive home that uh, your partner should have made a meal for you. Maybe there was uh, uh, an assumption or maybe there's this is something that is regular. So you would have assumed that this meal is going to be ready when you came home. You decided actually uh, when you were at work, you decided you weren't going to eat. You maybe even delayed the time that you were going to eat. And then you come home and there's no meal made, right? So uh, there was an expectation, a should, but everything that happens in life, there needs to be a conversation, there needs to be communication, and there needs to be some follow through about what you would want and what the other person want and if there's an agreement. Of course, if there was an agreement, that's a completely different situation. But if there was an expectation there, it should have been ready, it should have been made, they should have been able to read my mind, they should have known. If you're ever using those terms or words, that is the setup of an expectation, or an assumption that was made. So the only way to uh, kind of recognize that uh, that might not be the best operating system or way of thinking is to use the words no expectations. When we are using the word should, what we're ultimately doing is saying that we are not in alignment with how life is. We're saying that we are uncomfortable with the way things are. Whatever we're currently experiencing is not how it should be. We are negating reality as it is. Most of suffering comes, or basically all of suffering, comes from the inability to experience reality as it is. So if you're dealing with mental suffering, you're getting frustrated, you're getting upset, you're getting angry and all of those things, that frustration is coming because of the expectation set up in your mind. So again, you might have a current situation that's frustrating you, making you upset. Have you set expectations around that situation? Have you created expectations around what should happen? Do you feel that life should be operating in a way that it's not right now? Are you dealing with stressors or people or situations that should uh, be going a different way? Every time we use the word should, we are ignoring life as it is, and we are not experiencing as it is, and we are not operating from that place. So, Let's use the word no expectations. Have no expectations for what should be happening and just live life as it is. No expectations on what people should be doing and instead look at things as they are. When we're able to operate from the place of the present moment, operating from things as they are, we can lift the current moment and make it better from that standpoint. Finding solutions, problem solving, communicating effectively allowing yourself to experience life as it is and think through things as it is, as opposed to as it should be. Quite often, I think people tend to complain. They tend to um, pontificate, use conversation as a way to be upset about something, or instead we can look at things as they are and then lift it from there. So uh, let's use the words no expectations 
have no expectations for things as they are, and work from that standpoint. And in fact, it lets you be more grateful because when things happen that are unexpected, but unexpected in a nice way, then you can be happier, that you can be excited because you weren't expecting something and you got that little piece of joy instead of creating the idea and then being disappointed all the time. Because in fact, if we're not communicating effectively, if we're not having that conversation, if we just assume that other people can read our minds, it's going to be get, it's going to be super frustrating. And so if we're setting ourselves up like that all the time, we're going to be um, set up for being frustrated, upset, angry, and that's not a great place to operate from. So use the word no expectations. Um, I have no expectations for you guys. Um, you know, I, I want you guys to to do what brings you joy. And I want to use, uh, you know, whenever someone unexpectedly leaves a review, whenever someone unexpectedly reaches out and says a nice comment, whenever someone unexpectedly does that, that makes me happy. I'm not expecting anything from my audience. I'm not expecting anything from you as the listener. I'm putting this out as a, as a gift of joy, and I just want you to enjoy the uh, being a part of that. So I want to thank you so much. I'm grateful for you listening. I'm grateful for having the opportunity to speak about this concept. And if that was helpful for today, um, you know, just let us know. And if not, that's okay too. Have an amazing day. And if you want to listen to more episodes, please check out our archives. I mean, I think this is episode like 166, which is pretty crazy. Um, and I uh, hope to see you and hope that you listen in to the next episode. Have a, have a great day and uh, I'll see you on the next one.